Hi, I'm Gus, an application specialist here at Blue Marble Geographics. Today, we're going to be talking about using Global Mapper Pro in the field. In addition to our mobile application, Global Mapper Mobile, Global Mapper Pro, the desktop application, can be used for field data collection. Today, we're going to talk about how we can connect an external GNSS device to Global Mapper Pro and use this to perform some field data collection. In order to connect your device to Global Mapper, make sure that it is correctly configured to support the current connection method that you want to use. Once your device is properly configured, navigate to the GPS drop down menu and select Setup. Here we can choose between connection through serial port or Bluetooth. And in version 25.1, we actually added support for connection to Trimble devices through Bluetooth. Select Garmin USB devices can also be connected to. We can read from an existed, existing NMEA uh, string. Or another new feature in version 25.1, we can connect through IP using TCP or UDP protocol. And lastly, we can enable RTK corrections down here. I'm going to connect to my device here using Bluetooth, so I'm going to select OK. And then again, from the GPS drop down menu, I'm going to start tracking my device. Now we can see that my GPS vessel appears in the middle of my screen here overlaid on top of my background imagery, which is a little open street map data, as well as these points that represent different stream culverts in uh, my general area. Now I'm gonna open up a couple more dialogues from this GPS dropdown. We have our information dialogue, as well as our sky view. Our information dialogue is gonna indicate our current location, as well as our current speed. We can copy our current location information to our clipboard, so we can copy paste that into an external file. And we can set a particular waypoint, so we can orient our uh, GPS vessel, indicating our current location, towards that waypoint. So now we're all set up, we're going to use our connected GNSS device to record a track log um, and to visit a couple of these locations of these stream culverts as indicated by these vector features. So we now have our GNSS device connected to Global Mapper Pro. And we can see that the GPS vessel uh, is indicating our current location as we move down the road. And we're heading towards our first point of interest um, the first of these stream culverts that we're going to visit. We can see that our GPS information dialog is listing our current speed as well as our current heading and our elevation and our current um, lat latitude and longitude. Um, along the way, we can select from the GPS menu to record waypoints. We can also select from that same drop down. Uh, the ability to record a track log, which we can either save to a vector feature, or we can also um, save the actual NMEA string to an NMEA file. So what I'm going to do here is select this point once we've reached this location, and I'm going to add a new attribute here, um, indicating that I was the one who visited this particular location. I'm going to save those changes. Um, and continue along to the next location. If you're interested in learning more about using Global Mapper Pro in the field, you can visit us at our website, bluemarblegeo.com, or send us an email to our support inbox at geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com. Thanks for watching.